With Barrel Craft Spirits, every release they do, from bourbon, rye, rum, and American whiskey, it just can't be duplicated. Learn more at BarrelBourbon.com. Welcome back to the Whiskey Quickie, and today we're looking at a new expression from Wild Turkey. So that's going to be a continued expression, which is their rare breed rye. So, All right. I'm really we, excited for this Yeah, one. I mean, you know, rare breed is, is always a cool one because it's a barrel-proof offering that comes out in a, in a batch product, and it's won a lot of blind competitions from Fred Minnick and other people that have been out there. So it's one of these also that people might look at it as one of the sleeper bourbons that are on the shelf that's yeah. always readily available. Yep. Now, it is barrel-proof, so it's coming in at 112.2. And this is also non-chill filtered, which is also like Russell's Reserve and their single barrels. And it is also non-age dated. However, it is reported that it is a blend of four, six, and eight year straight rye whiskeys coming in at an SRP of $60. Do they use the Gucci rye in here? I mean, Gucci yeah. rye? Yeah. yeah. No Gucci corn, Gucci rye. Oh, we'll see what we can find out of this. So let's go ahead and dive in with the, uh, the nose here. It's got that, you know... I say typical a lot, but it's got the typical, it's kind of spearmint. Rye notes, yeah. You know, rye notes. There is like a hint of... You almost said like, like I almost said like rhin rhinoceros. Rye notes. Yeah. Type. Rye notes. Yeah, rhinoceros. It's like, it's like an abbreviation. It smells like a rhino. You know, you're... Get, get in, the, got the rye notes. An animal kingdom rhino or something. <laughs> or is it, or is it abbreviation for you? It's like rhine's notes, rye notes. Yeah, no. All right, let's go ahead. So on the taste, where you at here? Mm. it's definitely like a kentucky rye more it like really coats the palate yeah you get more like of a bourbon notes on it but it's got definitely those pronounced rye to start but you definitely get like the vanilla caramel on the back end of it so it's like a nice hybrid between uh like an indiana rye or a kentucky bourbon it's a nice in between for me mm -hmm. and it's always good to see another kentucky distillery prominent one coming out with a rye as well so good to see that. Yeah. All right. You ready to rate this? Yeah. So on the nose, where are you at here? Oh, uh, I'm sideways thumbs. It was just kind of average to it, nose. It's an average nose. Yeah. I agree. Uh, the taste though. Thumbs up. I, I really enjoyed it. It's got a great mouthfeel, creaminess. You know, you got that rye spice and also that kind of minty spearmint going, thing going on too. For sure. And the finish? Thumbs up. Still like it. I think so too. And the one good thing about Rare Breed rye is- Rye notes. Well, yeah, we like it. Rye notes. We got that. <laughs> But the other thing about Rare Breed, you know, and Wild Turkey is that even at a 112.2 proof, being barrel proof, it's not like 120. It's yeah. not crazy, right? So it's still palatable for a lot of people that want to go into this sort of realm. So yep, go check it out. Cheers, y'all. See you next time.